Hey gang, and welcome back to Rambles and Makeup with your rambling host, Victavia. On today, we are doing a Dobby face paint cosplay inspired look. As always, I'm using my CC Beauty palette. I'm using the Blue Moon eyeshadow palette. And I'm also going to use mascara, foundation, and my makeup eyeliner brush so get your makeup get ready and join your lovely host as we ramble and get through this together all right guys so let's get into it i hope you've been well i hope you had a great 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 weekend okay like top tier type weekend you know like <laughs> You regret that it passed so quick type weekend. You know what I'm saying? Just the good times. So today, we are going to be doing this look. Now, for you, those who don't know, um, this is inspired off of Dobby from My Hero Ac Academia. I always say the name wrong, okay? But I promise you, I love the show. I want to do Todoroki, okay? I will do Midoriya, but I kind of want to dye my fro for that. I don't know yet. So, it, it just it just depends. So, I've wanted to do that look for so long. And originally, I thought that I'd be able to, like, you know, cosplay this stuff a little bit better. Like, you know, get a trench coat for him or whatever. But the Lord was like, you don't need... Nothing but your face paint brushes. You got a white shirt. Like, you dress it up how you see it. And I was like, you're right, Lord. You're so right. Because that's what we're about on this channel anyways. So, guys, like I said, I hope you've been well and great and rocking it out. We're going to do this look today and try to have the best of fun with it. And we are going to pray and hope for the best and get ready for success. See what I did there? I guess I'm kind of punny. <laughs> Whoo! All right. So, with that being said, let's get into it. And I promise today I'm gonna try to talk more because I know I be telling y'all like, oh, I'm gonna talk to you, and then I don't talk to you, and I'm so sorry that I do not ramble as much. So, I am going to. So I'm going to have to do this in parts. So I'm going to go ahead and let you know this is going to be a layered video and I'm going to try to make it quick. But because I have to color different parts and all that jazz, I'm actually going to start with the purple first so I can kind of know where to base my foundation. Um, and so I want to start like this. The goal is really half your face. That's what we're going for. I mean, it should seem like half your face. Mine don't really seem like that, but yeah. Yeah. So guys, what have you been up to? Have you been rocking out and just having oh so much fun it has been such a crazy week couple of weeks with this weather half the time i don't know if we're going to be cold or hot the forecast tells you one thing you look outside it's like five different things and then you're just kind of stuck like well wicked all right now let's go to the other side. Yeah, I want to talk to y'all about this movie. Now, this is not paid. And nothing like that. But so, this weekend, I went with my friends. And I was like, let's go watch a scary movie. Because my friends love horror. Just like I love horror. So I was like, this would be great. Like, we haven't done scary movies in such a long time. da 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 Y'all, now, I used to always be like, don't listen to movie critics because they don't know what they talk about. So I didn't listen to Rotten Tomatoes when they said that movie was a uh, like a 42%. I wish I would have listened, guys. Listen, if you go watch Consecration, just know your questions will have questions. Like, no, 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 it was a bit ridiculous. I, I don't know. 
Don't, mm -mm. It was ridiculous. I could have lost it by the end of that movie. I'm sitting here thinking, I, well, if you haven't go watched it, you might want to skip this part. Uh, maybe I'll put in a timestamp, like how far ahead you can skip so you don't have to see it. But I'm sitting there like, but why did she fall off then? Like, if she could have saved herself, then why did she die anyways? You know, like, I mean, if she was the relic all along, how did she even get out as a kid? And if she got herself out as a kid, and if she knew her brother was going to die, why did she still let it happen? Like, why didn't she just get him and leave? You know, like, I, I just don't understand. Like, if the nun knew that she knew she was the relic, why she try to shoot her at the end? Why did she take so long to pop her? Like, she should have known from everybody else dying that she had to be next, right? I don't, it was a thing. Tell y'all, it was a thing. I walked out of there and I was like, I picked it. I've never really picked bad movies. I've always got onto my friends. Like, you cannot pick movies anymore because that was trash. Well, <laughs> in my opinion, may not be like that for everybody. Some people might actually love the movie. And if you do, defend it in the comments. But for me, mm-mm. Mm -mm, it was not for me. For me in my household, that one just wasn't going to fly, baby. I was so busted and disgusted after that movie. Like, <laughs> I could have spent more time doing something else with that hour, really, which was nothing. But, you know, I could have been getting into something else. It was just a mess, y'all. It was a mess. Very rarely do I watch scary movies or any movie that makes me feel like why did i just watch that but it's even worse when it's a horror movie because you go for the spooks that's what you go for to get spooked but when you get there and you get confused it's like if i would have wanted an action-packed movie i would have signed up for an action-packed movie i could have went and saw magic mike but no i just had to go get scared mm -mm. it was y'all it was a thing i mean i even saw a couple leave out of there, and I was like, surely it's not gonna, like, come to that, right? Hmm, I should have been right there with him. But, you know, what can you do? I mean, I still enjoyed being out, like, seeing people, being in the midst of people. You know, like, that was really nice, and um, I was really here for that. Also, really quickly, happy Black History Month, people. I forgot to say it last week, I believe, but happy, happy Black History Month. You know, I this is one of my favorite months for that reason alone. You know, I wish Black History would be given more days. And just in general, it would be talked about more. But if you go watch Apoc's Perspective and The Real Bible Stories from my week seven, I do talk a lot about, well, not, well, I talk about some Black History that I found out. Some things that interested the heck out of me. Because uh, when I found them out, I was like, they don't teach you this in school. Why they don't teach you this, I don't know. I assume it's because my teachers just didn't really care if if we learned anything. They cared about their players passing. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. And maybe I could even be wrong about that. But that's what I feel like the issue is. Okay, so I'll probably go here. I'll go this far out. Yeah, so that way. I'm telling y'all, this one is about to, I might have to clip and edit out some parts, depending on how, like, long I take. I'm not planning on taking long, but this is also face pain. Like, I have to realize that. And um, every time I say, I'm not going to be long, even if I don't ramble, I'm still long. So, I'm just trying to make sure I do right by you guys, you know, and I, I don't want to waste your time. Sorry, that, that's by Johnny. Jun I, sorry, I'm so sorry if I said your name wrong. I put it up there. But, uh, guys, I'm trying to see what I want your song recommendation to be for this week. You know what? In honor of Valentine's Day tomorrow, let's make it, well, by the time this comes out, it'll be Friday. Valentine's Day has passed. But let's make it Rojo by J Balvin. Really love that song. That's me. They got us that teeth, and they got us that me. All I miss my order. Senti aqui. 
Me ni ganas de ti, te ni ganas de mí. A la misma hora. Man, that, man, that song had me bawling. I was like, oh, why would you leave him? Like, everything about that video was so emotional. And oh, man, man, man. Well, I guess why would he leave her? Because she was the one who was stuck behind. But I was glad she found love again at the end. Like, that made my heart happy. But yeah, that's my song for this week. I'm going to try to diversify and give you guys lots of um, song recommendations. It's just that I don't really know what I want to recommend you because I listen to a lot of music. I really do. And I just, sometimes I listen to the same songs on repeat for about a week and it still doesn't like get tiresome. So I am so sorry, but I hope you enjoyed the song. It is a really good song. Um, I am not really ashamed to say this, but it was like a song that my ex showed me. And um, it was a hard time for me to listen to that song because I don't know if anybody else has been like this, but it's hard for me to listen to a song if somebody has ruined it. Or like if I know it is associated with the person, I'm like, mm, I got to take a break from you. But that song is just a good song. Like you can't be mad at it, you know, and Jay Valvin wasn't the one who broke my heart with the music video he did. But, you know, he didn't do me wrong. So why take it out on him? <sighs> but with it being a week of love, I want to talk to some single people out here like me. Listen. If you're a single, do not feel bad about it. Don't feel like nothing's wrong with you. And don't beat yourself up about it. Being single, there's nothing wrong with being single. It's not a crime. Nothing's wrong with you because you're single. Um. Well, I hope nothing's wrong with you because you're single. But I'm just saying, in general, you know, I was having this conversation with somebody and just from my perspective, I was telling them, you know, I had to work on a lot of things about myself this past few months. Things that I didn't even know was like plaguing me or, you know, just affecting me. And when I found out it was, I was like, Ooh, I need to change because I cannot be with nobody. There's glitter in this. Even better. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so sorry but I cannot be with anybody and you know like I still have so much stuff to work out within myself you know like I don't want to bring baggage to a relationship because I don't want nobody bringing baggage to me like yes we're all gonna have to work with some things and like get through things together that's not what I'm saying but like a lot of fights I feel like could be avoided a lot of wrongs wouldn't have to be wrongs like if you just make sure you are in a place where you're ready to date somebody and most importantly like I was telling this person I do not want to get in a relationship with anybody and make them feel like I need them like let me explain I want you you know like I want you around I want you around I want you around like, I want you here, obviously, because, you know, I'm interested in you. Like, we're going to try to make this thing work. But I don't need you, you know? Like, I don't want anybody to ever feel like it's a clutch relationship. Like, you know, I just don't want to go through that again. I don't want to depend on nobody like that. But God, you know, like, I don't want to need anybody. Now, I want to want you. I want to want you in my corner. I want you to add in my life. Well, and even then, like... You know what I'm saying? When we are married, I might need you for some things, but like, I don't need you to save me. There we go. I don't want anybody to feel like they are saving me when they get with me. I want you to realize that like, I am a woman and I'm doing the, excuse my French, the damn thing. And you're my man and you're doing the dang thing. I don't, I don't know. That was weird. I don't know why I cussed the first time. Anyways, you know, I just, I want a relationship to be that a relationship but like things that can be avoided problems that can be solved I would rather work on myself first and then even just realize the joys of being by yourself because I heard this sermon a lot of times and it wasn't just one pastor who said it but I've been told you can be in a relationship and still be lonely and guess what that was my last relationship 
I was with somebody I didn't have no business being with. And um, who by the time the end of it was done, I was like, I should have stayed single for this. Like, this was a lesson I hated that I had to learn. I shouldn't have had to learn this lesson. Like, I just should have stayed in my lane by myself and <laughs> just waited patiently on the Lord. But, you know, things happen. Like, we want to fall in love. We don't want to learn lessons. And people tried to tell me, and I was still like, no. And so, so I had to learn. Baby girl had to learn a hard way. But I'm saying all that to say, I am single. And I now feel like there's nothing wrong with that. Like, it just frustrates me when people think they have to be with somebody in order to be successful or like in order to, I guess, appear successful, if that makes sense. And it frustrates me because it's like, you don't realize how special you are. You don't realize the beauty that you have, like what is inside of you, you know, like, if you walk into the store, nobody's going to look at you and be like, oh, she's single. So she must be, she must be miserable. You know, like <laughs> half the time people are so caught up in themselves anyway, they don't really care about what you're going through. And I had to get there. And so I hope you don't take this as me scolding you or judging anybody because that's not what I'm here for. We are here for love and positivity all the way around. But I just want you to know, like, <laughs> you don't have to be with the person to look like you got it all. You don't have to be with a person in order to feel successful. You don't need those things. What you need is a relationship with God. Like what you need is to find yourself and find, well, find them. Just find them because if you don't, even if you get in a relationship, you're not going to know what you're looking for. You're not going to know what you're doing and you're going to bump your head and worst case scenario, you're going to put up with a lot of things you don't even have to put up with. You know, you're going to take a lot of things you don't need to take or have to take for the sake of somebody else and for the sake of love. Take yourself out. <laughs> go get your stuff. Go get your stuff. Go get yourself a steak. Go buy your own teddy bear. You know, tell yourself I love you. Baby, I love you. You know, and I'll tell you, I love you. We're not in a relationship, but I love you. You know, and when it is time for you to meet your forever person, when it is time for you to be in love, it's going to happen. So don't be so hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. And don't feel like you're lacking or that anything's wrong with you because it, there is not a single thing wrong with you. You just, maybe you're single because you need to learn that. Like you need to work on yourself and your affairs of the heart and really deal with your being and who you are and what it is you're called to do here and how, <coughs> <coughs> oh, how you can contribute to somebody else. You know, like, that's all I'm saying, guys. So please don't click off. Please don't be mad at me. Like I said, I'm not scolding you. I just want you to be in a place to where you don't feel like there's something wrong with you. And I know there's always going to be one person like, I know that there's not nothing wrong with me. I just want to be a little, well, okay, that is great, babe. Because I, I've been like that before too. Just, I want to be in love and da, da, da. And I mean, I find myself longing for it, but at the same time, like, I can say I am perfectly happy being single, you know, because I'm learning myself. Like, I get to do things with myself. And plus, I know whenever I date, I'm not going to be trying to waste nobody's time. I'm going to want to date to find my forever person, you know? So I don't want nobody wasting my time because I'm not going to waste their time. So if you don't want to be here for a long time, then you shouldn't be here at all, bucko. <coughs> That's just how I feel, okay? Once again, I'm not angry. I'm just saying, okay? I am just saying. But really, guys, I just don't want you to feel like you're lacking anything or missing anything because I have been that person that's been in a relationship, trying to appease somebody, giving my all to them, <laughs> changing literally everything about myself for them, only for them to cheat consistently, consistently, Cheat consistently and blame me for everything. I'm the reason they cheated because we had an argument. I'm the reason they wanted to go find comfort in somebody else because I got mad at them. <laughs> but if I even looked or said hi to another living being and like, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all this story. Whenever I get friends with somebody, oh, 
I didn't want to keep myself. Oh, well, anytime I make friends with somebody or like if somebody says something funny to me or like we agree on something and our personalities kind of match, I will quickly be like, dude, I love you. Like, you're so funny, you know, and most of the time I don't really mean nothing by it. Just I love you. Like, it's like not, not like I'm in love with you or like I want to bear your children. It's just like I love what you said. Like, we're vibing. You're a cool person. I want you to know, like. <laughs> we're there you know like you're amazing because sometimes people just need that and sometimes I just I don't know I feel like I shouldn't even have to explain that but so for the sake of the story I have to so anyways one day I had told this person in front of my ex uh on vu I was like I love you and they were like why are you going around telling people you love them? And so then they blamed it on the fact that I was from America and they were from the Dominican. They were like, uh, here, we don't say that they almost is very special and we only use it for close friends, but I see you could just love everybody so easily. And I was just like, you act like I told this man that I wanted to be with him forever or something. I just told him I loved him and I love everybody. And even like if I had friends and I would say like, I love my friends or my close people. And I even confronted them. I was like, you don't tell your best friends and stuff. You love them. And so, um, the response was, the response was, well, you're right. I do. I do tell my friends I love them. And so then they took it overboard and the friends who were trying to get with them, they would tell them they loved them. And if I had anything to say about it, it was like, well, you do it. Okay, yeah, but they weren't trying to, like, I didn't have ulterior motives. You know, like, oh, I just don't like stuff like that because how can you use the way I am to justify your bad behavior? I can understand, like I said, if I was being disrespectful, even disrespecting them by saying like, oh my God, like I love you. Or if it was in a flirtatious way, but it was literally like, ha, ha, I love that. Like you're, you're so funny. And to me, I was just being friendly. So maybe I was flirting and I just didn't see it. I don't claim that I was, you know what I'm saying? Cause I am just the type of person. I'm just like, I love you. Like that was so dumb, but you're cool. Like you're a cool person. And, or like, <laughs> you know, if I say something and that person will relate to me. I'm like, yes, thank you. Like, I love you. And no, they were not okay with that ever. And I was just like, why? Why am I, you know, I tried so hard to change for this person, y'all. Like, that's why I'm stressing to you so bad. You do not have to conform for anybody but yourself. And you should be trying to conform for the Lord because that's where it counts. Like, that is where it counts the most. And y'all... That person just, I'm just saying, you know, people, people, people can be people. But regardless of anything, that top, that whole situation taught me a valuable lesson, which is you don't change for anybody unless you're ready to change. Like, Stop trying to appease everybody. Stop trying to bend over backwards for people who won't bend over backwards for you. You know, and I know it sounds like a little harsh to say or whatever, but that's the truth because you're going to stress yourself out and you're going to be so upset trying to live by their standards and uh, figure out what they want. You're going to drive yourself crazy, man. For what? And then let me tell you, by the end of changing myself, I didn't even know who I was anymore. You know, I had no, no recollection of who, who Shay was, what Shay liked, what Shay wanted out of life. I, everything about me was kind of just shot, you know, cause I had been told so many bad things about myself that I believed like, um, on i'm the type of person whenever i work i like to spend money on things that i like so back in this day and age i was on imvu so of course on imvu i wanted to spend money on imvu things like i worked hard for that you know i wanted to celebrate my success Ooh, i got told that I was so selfish because I knew that they didn't have money like that. And I was out here spending my money like it wasn't nothing. And the conversion is so different over there. And how could I just be so selfish to do things like that? And I'm sitting here thinking, where is this coming from? <laughs> like, 
why, why is that something to get mad about? Like, y'all, I will never understand in a million years half the fights we have because it is dumb. Like, and then what was even so crazier about it, whenever they would get paychecks and they got paid more and they had the money to spend, they spent all day long. And I'm sitting here thinking, well, if this isn't the pot calling the kettle, because look at you, baby boo, doing your thing, but you got mad at me for doing mine. <sighs> That's why I tell you, this is going to be called Love Rambles. This episode is going to be called Dobby and Love Rambles because loving can burn you and loving can hurt, but it's going to be okay, okay? Now, I'm going to have to pause really quickly and I'll jump back in. Um, I need to open these contacts, put them on, and then get ready to do my upper face. But if I don't put my contacts on right now, trying to put them on after I do the rest of my makeup is going to be a thing. And we just want happy vibes on this video. So hang on while I get that done, please. <laughs> All right. I got it in. Okay. You only want to know how long it took. But I got it in and I got it. I need to really quickly go back over my purple. Y'all, everything is like tinted blue. Okay. So while yes, I can see you. It's all a bit blue. Like a light blue. It's not dark or nothing, but um if this don't go well we you know what? We're gonna repeat that. It's gonna go the way it's meant to go. It's gonna be pretty. Pretty. It's gonna be great. Um I wanted to put my contacts in now, and I'm glad I did because I always forget how mad I get. When I can't get my contacts in, we didn't need that at the end of this video. We were so close to the finish line. Why not? And then, um, now I'm going to do my, no, now I'm going to do my makeup and the other parts of, um, my, my, uh, what am I looking for? Face paint. So, but first, I want to actually maybe play with the eyes because, okay, which one are you? Are you purple? Because who are you? Did I? Did I? This is great. Right on. If I feel the only, y'all y'all will know. I mean, I will too once I start laying it on my face, but <laughs> y'all will too. Okay, so, once again, guys, I really hope. You don't feel like I was scolding you or judging you. I know it takes time to get out of bad relationships and it takes times. And sometimes you feel like you do need that person. But I just want to tell you as a person on the other side, you don't need them. And honestly, you'll feel so much better when you cut ties. It's always like that. Um, yeah, and I just want you to be encouraged because life's too short you know you deal with all that junk and you've wasted your life trying to appease somebody who can't even see the value of you you know who don't even want to acknowledge that you are bringing to their life they just take from you and you just don't deserve that that's all I'm saying and I just I don't want anybody to go through Valentine's like Oh, I'm so lonely. You're like, oh, nobody loves me. Nobody cares. I love you. God loves you. And that is so important. And people don't think that that is important, but that is very important because he's with you always and he sees everything. He's there right beside you. And honestly, I used to feel so alone, so alone before I got with God. <laughs> just like that before I got with God. Um, I remember I used to see my mom and dad like dating stuff and I'd be sad like, well, where's my date at? You know, I didn't really feel, sorry guys, I got to get all up in your face to make sure. I didn't feel all that loved. I didn't feel all that seen because I didn't have a relationship and my mom used to tell me, like, you do not need those things to feel whole. And now I get it. Like, I understand, you know? And like I say, I know you need to work up to there sometimes. And 
it is a whole lot easier said than done. But I just didn't want anybody to feel like I was bashing you or like jumping down your throat because it really was not that type of party. I just want to give love and say you are seen, you know, and you do not need to be with anybody to be special, to be validated, you know, validate yourself, love on yourself. Shoot, take yourself out on a date, you know, baby, I'm thinking about taking myself out on a date. Do you hear me? <laughs> And like, I mean, I don't know who you'll see this, but I, I am, well, I can say it now because I, uh, it's going to be posted before this gets posted, but I'm going to do, um, a Valentine's video as a single lady, but for myself, you know, and for those who are single, and if you're in a relationship, congrats, dude, really, like, I hope you found the best person in your life, the person who completes you, the person who like makes you smile and makes you want to dance the night away. You know, like truly that's what we all want in this life. And that's what we all deserve. But like I say, for me, it's when God says, yeah, because his timing is the best. So much better than my own timing. And as much as I've been getting in the way of my own self here lately, I am so glad he is taking the wheel and um, stopping me from myself, saving me from myself, because I don't make the brightest of choices always, and I can confidently say that. <laughs> there is no shame in that. Um, but yeah, guys, it's all going to be okay. And know that I am here with you. But just think about it. You get to have your bed to yourself nobody's in your space yet i mean but when that day comes and he does want to get in my space i'm gonna be like come on baby let's cuddle but until then it's all great guys anyways like i say i just wanted to really speak to those who may be feeling sad or lonely because you know everybody plays up valentine's day like, they go all out for Valentine's Day, but, you know, half the time it's a show anyways. Not saying that everybody's like that, but, you know, people would be like, look at baby, he bought me, like, 24,000 roses. And then as soon as the camera go out, her and baby are fighting in the corner. <laughs> um, I'm saying, hey, I'm telling you, some people are like that. You'd be shocked who fakes and fronts for the sake of views and other things. And so, that's why... I want to be patient and wait because I don't want to fake in front for the sake of views. I want somebody who's going to ride for me because they ride for me, you know, because they're my, they're my better half. All right. Y'all, this is so funny to me. This is a field day. Okay. This is good. I don't really feel like, and I don't really think I need to, but I'm going to. I know. That's weird, guys. I know. I know. I know. It's a thing. It's a thing with me and makeup. It's a thing, man. But anyways, outside of that, I, like I said, I hope you're well. I hope the day is rocking it. Also, Galentine's is a thing. Me and my friends, we, we try to do it when we can. Um, But one of them, she's my... Well, they're both my besties, but one of them... We kind of, we're more affectionate. So we kind of do Valentine's a little bit more. I'm pretty sure she's going to wish me a happy Valentine's Day. I'm going to be right back at you, sweet thing. We've bought each other gifts, you know, like, that's baby. <laughs> she doesn't ever allow me to feel alone. Because, I mean, Valentine's is a thing, like, you know, but like I say, if you got someone and if you don't, I love both of you. I love all of you. Um, everybody watching it. I truly do love you. And like I say, I only get so, I guess, passionate about it. And my mom, she has to be like, calm down, dude, calm down. And I'm like, I'm just passionate because I, I want you to see how loved and valued you are. I want people to not be so hard on themselves because, baby, I can be hard on myself. Do you hear me? Oh, no, no, no. Like, you don't understand. When I say I could be hard on myself, <clears throat> I mean, I will sit there for about a good 30 minutes and 
rain on my own parade if I'm not careful. Don't do yourself like that. All right, five. <laughs> now we're gonna do the mouth. This is the only time that you can paint over other colors and like not have to worry about the bleeding because it's supposed to look like that. Okay. Bye. I'm telling y'all, this... <laughs> I have to get up real close to be like, this better be looking right because I'm going to have it if it is not. But I believe, I believe it's looking right. It is going great. So next up is the eyeshadow. And then after I do the eyeshadow, I'm actually going to go make some more adjustments that I need and then come back because I need to do my arms. But in order to do that, I need to also make sure I'm not moving around or needing to grab anything else because I'm the type I will get face paint on everything and then just be oh so sad because I did it. So I wanted to use like blues because of his fire, but these blues are not like as light as I thought. So give me a second, guys. Let me... Let me hit just the so who hmm. decisions. Y'all, when you gotta make decisions. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Because I can always, if it doesn't look like. If you're wondering, I could totally see this. Oh, oh no 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 we're getting quiet okay guys I'm I'm back oh we're gonna we're gonna talk about some more stuff let me think about some more stuff to say oof that's so pretty it's so funny y'all a year ago I had got this uh, makeup palette well eyeshadow palette and I always wanted to wear these colors but your girl lacks self confidence out of this world do you hear me out of this world it was bad and i was like why would you buy this if you were not gonna really wear it like you wanted to wear i'm not like i felt like my skin didn't fit it like nobody really complimented me at work i was seeking validation of people i was trying to impress and they were not giving it and it was just a thing like i didn't feel like it was cute you know and so, like, I had just stopped wearing it all together. And honestly, I'm a little bit sad that myself got like that. Because, once again, I shouldn't have been looking for others' validation of my looks, you know? But it happens to the best of us. And um, I was, even at one time, I thought about, like, giving it away or giving it to this one girl I knew. But I was like, no. Okay, hold on guys, hang on. I don't even, I think I was talking about, <laughs> that was so crazy what just happened. Um, I wanted people to validate me at work and so I stopped using this, but I'm glad I kept it, there we go. 
Glad I kept it because now I do get to use it. And I just would have been so sad. So, so sad. If, you know, I didn't get to have my fix with it. That's what I was trying to say. Sorry, I got some space brain. Y'all, it was a thing. My mom called. She didn't say nothing. So I'm assuming she butt dialed me. But then, in the midst of butt dialing me, I'm trying to call her name, and homegirl still ain't getting the gist that I am on the phone. Then I'm trying to mount my camera back up on the stand, and it just poof, pals, falls out, and I'm like, so I don't even know if, like, all these colors are supposed to be here, because literally all of them popped out, and <laughs> so I'm going to just, you know, keep it vibing. Um. Never ever gonna tell anybody again what shade I'm using because I don't know what shade it is unless I go back and order it, which I might if I can find it later. If I just really have the urge to, you know, do right by it. But if not, I ain't gonna sweat it. Y'all just know the color palette it's from. Okay. Ooh. Almost done, my loves. I told y'all, I always say. That's why I didn't even say this video. It was going to be a quick one because I know myself. And obviously, I don't know the definition of quick. But I am going to start clipping and cutting. Because, uh. guys i uh, i had to go off finish up and come back because if i just left it this video is gonna be extremely long and while yes i do love the link i gotta edit it and you guys gotta watch it 
but so I tried to include steps all I did is I painted it which is why I was also like I'm gonna just leave it right here I'm not about to go all the way down my arm and have to deal with you know painting my whole arm like Dobby because I mean he just he looks great you know doing his own thing so yeah you just color your skin fill in that purple fill in the purple and that's it guys this is my my hero Dobby face paint body paint look um it, I was just sitting here thinking it's so crazy to think I was blessed to do this in the form of face paint because I always wanted to cosplay this do this look and I never knew it would be you know like this so once again as always thank you guys so much for watching thank you all for joining me I hope you did enjoy happy Valentine's Day happy weekend happy Friday please go into this weekend feeling bre breast blessed unstressed and still striving for the best remember always that jesus loves you and i love you as well and until next time i've been your rambling host victavia goodbye guys